Hey, every. Um, I think we've got it going here. Ooh. Yeah, that should be. Okay, good. I'll sort of look at my stupid batteries almost out again. You, you wouldn't believe the contraption that's going on here. Well, you know what? You can see it. <laughs> what a freaking mess this all is. Here's my studio right here. Wait, what am I doing? Here it is, my studio. <laughs> yeah, blame it on the cameraman, not me. So <laughs> How are you guys? It is the end of January, almost. January uh, 25th. And so I'm happy to be here. We're going to do some really dumb, uh, dumb stitches. And then we're going to, then I'm going to show you a tricky one, which is called the Van Dyke stitch that I always have to look at and put my thinking cap on when I'm about to do it. All right. But it's super fun. So I told John, you know, from simple to complex, that's what we're going to be doing today. All right. So <clears throat> the San Antonio, Melanie, there is a store there that is room after room after room of Mexican art, clothing, and yada, yada, yada. What is the name of that place? It's, it, I love that place. And then there's a restaurant that's real close to it too. I, 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 whenever I go into a store that has stuff from Mexico, my heart just goes pitter patter. I think it's all the color, texture, and all that good stuff. So let's see what we have here. So glad you're part of this group too, Sarah. So I always think, what am I going to show? What am I going to tell? And then I get on the couch the morning of the live, and I'm like, I'm overwhelmed with goodness of, from all of you. So first of all, Vivian sent this. Uh oh, John, I left all my notes in the family room. This is not good. If you can help me, I'd really appreciate it. Or else this show and tell is going to like flunk. All right. Uh, so anyways, this is Vivian. And I see him going. Good deal. And she sent this to customer service. It's super fun. I mean, hoop art is really, really in right now. And for any of you that have been uh, quilting for any length of time, that was a big deal in the 80s. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. And then uh, Vivian also sent this one too. I mean, that's just a simple stitch. Just like little stars. And that's it. You can do that. So I'm kind of past the hoop art phase, but I could see doing a whole pillow of that or something like that. I would love that. Okay, then Joanne sent this. Um, I was talking about cross stitch and needlepoint, and this is a cross stitch that she did, I think, a while back. And then here is a close-up. Look at the quilting. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. You know, I, again, I, what I was saying on Monday, how many of the other arts are we all into? I mean, really? Okay, so now I'm going to step into a pile of what could be get myself in big trouble. Uh, but Elena Moreira, Gregory Case, photo guy's uh, wife, sent me this article, and it was all about crochet and quilting making its way into garments. Now, everybody calm down. <laughs> Calm down. I'm going to say what I think. I can say what I want. <laughs> Don't have to agree, but I'm going to say what I want. Okay, so the first one was this crocheted jacket. Uh, that is fabulous. It is so simple. It is classic, and it's super hip and young, too. So there were, so there were other crochets in there, but then I went to uh, the quilted garments. And I know you're having many of you, heart attacks. Uh, I love this. I would wear this. And I will make my case in point in one moment here after we look at them. Okay, then here's another one that Elena sent. I think I like the one before. You know, this this is what I would call a cutter quilt. It's, it's one that you're probably not going to use on your bed. And is it going to get any sort of recognition at all anywhere? Here's another one. Super cute. Love the gingham inside. Okay, so we did a show with Sandra. I want to get the show number. Uh, Sandra um, Johnson, 2805. It was during COVID and uh, it was in Livermore. And 
I thought, oh, we're going to be stepping into it with this. Her contention is what I just said, and, I, and it really kind of changed my paradigm. We have all these older quilts that are stuck in cedar chests that we don't know the origin. They're falling apart, et cetera. If we make a garment out of it, it will be seen in public, you know? And I think the reason the crochet doesn't hit us like the quilts is because the crochet, you're starting from scratch. So I know I could be starting a Malstrom here, but after uh, Sandra was on, Kristen, you know Kristen, who works for us, she found a quilt that, um, I don't know where she got it, but it, she, it was a cutter quilt. I mean, and she made this garment. And it is so cute on her, I can't hardly stand it. And I, I love the double-breasted to it. Now, Kristen has chops when it comes to sewing garments. I used to, but those chops are gone. And then here is the back side. So, I don't know. You might want to go watch the show, 2805. And it just, it changed my thinking in it. It just changed my thinking. And it's funny because I texted her this morning. I said, hey, could you give me that picture? And she said, yeah, she's still, here we go. She still wants to do a whole cloth one, but she hasn't found one that's a cutter. So she's not being gross about it. And my guess is you would not be gross about it. And um, so, yeah, you know, I look at it as, can I give it, can I give it a new life versus just, and I've got some that are just in a trunk and they'll never see the light of day. And I mean, how stupid is that, right? My problem is I couldn't carry it off like Kristen can. Kristen's tall and skinny. And so she just looks, she looks like a runway model in it. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, Victoria Benry Wolf, Wolf does make uh, jackets and coats and I think she has patterns. Okay. Thanks, Lori. Um, Kristen, I don't know if you're on or not. But if you are, could you tell us the name of that pattern? And if she is, I can tell you she's scrambling right now to find it. So, okay, so what do we have next here? Okay, then Natalie sent me this picture. Oh, no, 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 Natalie didn't send, Susan sent it to me. But the artist is Natalie Zoe Lohan. And this is called Kakarki or something. So... Susan, yeah, Susan Skeel sent this to me and I about had a heart attack when I looked at it. I mean, look at the thread play in that. So then, of course, I had to go to her site. And then here is another one. I can't believe it. I can't. I don't know how she secured those strings down in the leaves. But the interesting thing is that she uses silk, poly, these are the threads that she uses, silk, poly, cotton, and metal, and it's thread on linen. Okay, but then this one I grabbed from her site, I, I have no idea. I, I blew it up, I don't know if that's fabric, I, I do not think that's stitching, I do not know. But her, her name is Natalie Zoe, Z-O-E, L-O-G-H-A, if you're interested in um, having her check out her stuff. Okay, so then Jean sent me this. This is a book by Amy Ray, and the cover was exceedingly intriguing to me, uh, doodle stitching. I um, love the idea that you just sit down and stitch mindlessly for a little bit each day and add to it. But then I saw this picture that was in the book on Amazon. I would not have thought of this at all. Taking a beautiful, beautiful fabric and then adding your thing to it. You know, I've got some beautiful twalls that I designed and have my name on it. And this just hit me like crazy. Okay, the other thing is that Anna got hold of me about the Japanese quilt that we talked about on Wednesday. Was it Wednesday or Monday? Oh, today's Wednesday, Monday. And the one at Road. Okay, what I did not realize was that that black there that you see, that's the curtain hanging behind it. So those are all whole, whoops, all holes in it. All holes. Let me go back to this one. That's just fabulous. 
So this, see, that makes sense because you've got like the little quilted heart, the little heart that's quilted. It looks like it's finished and then it's attached to the heart below it. I mean, love it. Okay, then, okay, this quilt again is Flowers in Full, full Bloom by A-Y-A-K-O. K-A-W-A-K-A-M-I from Japan. But then Barbara got hold of me and sent me um, a couple pictures of her work. So let's take a look. She's working on a Baltimore album quilt and this little girl is two inches high. Two inches, guys. And then, and that is... No, oh, see, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't want to screw this up. Okay, then here. Okay, you need to go bye bye. And then here is another one, and this is the Battle Monument that still stands in Baltimore. It was built in 1815 to 25. Um, the actual statue itself is 39 feet. Okay, so now I'm kind of wondering about this pattern. And so it was recreated by the Baltimore Applique Society. And it's from an old antique quilt uh, owned by Mary Koval, K-O-V-A-Koval. And I don't know whether this quilt resides in the Museum of Quilts and Fine Arts in Wisconsin or this one, but this is the pattern, I believe. However, I want to say this. I mean, there's the center. I couldn't find the little girl in it. I couldn't find it. So, um, I mean, these are lifetime achievement projects. I know that you would agree with that, right? It, you know, you, you give yourself time to, to, to do it. So I'm going to talk about dum-dum stitches first, all right? More comments. Um, some of these quilts, yes, Sherry, were written by women that didn't know how to read or write. The quilt is the only legacy that they have. When you made clothes out of them, they are erased. Look at the beautiful quilts. Well, that might be, that might be, but I've got quilts that are in tatters. So I knew I'm opening a um, can of worms here. I would not cut that one up. <laughs> I got news for you. <laughs> All right, so I would like to talk about today taking dum dum stitches and doing something fun with it. And then also uh, the Van Dyke stitch with this is opposite a dum-dum. So the first thing I wanna talk about are wrapping stitches. Absolutely wrapping, just absolutely beautiful. So this is just a um, straight line stitch, um, stem stitch. And then I thought, I wish I had put brown instead of green. So I wrapped it just with the needle and thread and I went, Okay, that's kind of cool. Obviously, I have more to go. I, I, I kind of do want to fill in all of these. So taking any sort of stitch out there and wrapping it is a completely suitable thing to do. All right? But where's my sample that I'm going to stitch on? But then what about um, this? Let's take a look at this. This is another super dum dumb stitch. Now, I'll make these little stitches and show you. You can just start with one, but then I wove it in and out. All right, so let's do one of those. Again, we're... how can I be in such a small space and lose stuff? Okay, so let's do pink. I've got some threaded things here. Look at this adorable pincushion that Libby Williamson made all the students in her class. Isn't that cute? She's a great show too. All right, so we can do a couple things. Well, actually there's a ton of stitches you can wrap. I mean, you can wrap this, you can wrap chain, you can do all that. But let's just, um, I'm just gonna do this simple. Almost a Sashiko stitch. Let's see if I can, 
dial this in a little bit more. This would be perfect for wrapping. You would just go in and out and in and out and make, you may, maybe have a little loop-de-doo. Don't wrap it tight. So let's say I do another row for grins. On the wool, I did three rolls, rows, excuse me. Oh, by the way, we got more of the embroidery panels in the store, if you're interested. I love that they're pre-marked. Here we go. I kind of want to line these up. That's not perfect. I don't care. It's not the same length. I care. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> so let me go through here and bring the, I'm going to sign, sign it, sign, sign off here on the back. I'm going to go through here. make another knot so it's ready to go. I forgot to put thread magic on this and I can feel the difference. All right. So now let's take this guy, Mr. Blue. Oh, that's ridiculous that I just said that. It has a knot. Okay. So what I'm going to do, are you okay? Can't pull tight on this, people. Again, you could just do this with one stitch. I don't think this blue is variegated, but it would be spot on if it were. Sure I'm staying in the frame. And you could make these as close together as you want or far apart as you want. I mean, the choice is yours. That's so simple and it is so freaking beautiful. So let's finish that one off. And as you go through books, they will show you different stitches that you can wrap, but it doesn't get much simpler than that. You know, I'm going to do another one. Um, a lot of you asked about the seed stitch right here. All right. And I think the key like here is I got, I think, too tight. And I liked how I went and kind of spread it out a little bit and went lighter as it went to the outside. And I thought, oh, that's easy. Well, it is kind of. Um, what you do, what I did, was I just made little stitches here, I mean, here and there, and you're going to get down to the spacing that you like, just willy-nilly. It's a real nice fill. And I on I showed you the gal's uh, quilt on Monday, her bounty, Bountiful Baskets. And in the cherries, she basically, like this, you want to go in a different directions. She basically, I believe, went like this. Okay, where's a, let's do a cherry here. You know, it's so interesting because the Van Dyke show, stitch that I'm going to show you is, um, it's not complex, but you have to think about it, okay? 
where this, she just went around, I believe in red, I'm sorry I don't have the picture, and just started filling in like this. And I and, and basically did a snail. I hear John coming. Got a question? Do you ever back your needle through the stitches? I am the purse. Do I ever back my stitches through the needle? I end. You know, that is a great tip. If you're finding, and I think that just happened here, where I was stitching into one of the stitches, going um, I end first is a nice is a nice uh, solution. Good question. Okay, and so forth. And again, there are so many stitches you can wrap. So for instance, let's go back to this. I've seen, boy, that one was a disaster. <laughs> Just a freaking disaster, and no, I don't have one here. All right, so thank you for showing me that. Honestly, I like that better than what I showed you on Monday for inside here. However, I do love this particular stitch that we did. I absolutely adore it. Okay, so let me just cut this off and let's do the Van Dyke stitch. And on my sampler, I did it too small. So let me see if I can find it. I did it way too tight. Here it is, way too small. I would do a bigger space than this. But it's a super fun stitch that you end up like with a chain down the middle and then these little legs that go out each side. It's called, again, the Van Dyke stitch and it's on page 174. And this is when, where did my other thread just, all right, I got a mess going on here. This is when I really appreci appreciate the fact that the book, and I'll show you the cover in a minute, has both left and right um, instructions because this would be darn near impossible to figure out without that. And we are getting more of these in the store. We just, um, they've just been shipped from CNT. So this is what we're going for down here. And again, this takes a little bit of me thinking. So I've got my book here. Once I get one or two going, I'm good to go. Um, if you want, again, you can go like this. As a guideline. Might want one down the center, I'm not sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's get my paws in here. I'm going to come up here. Okay. Then I'm going to come in the middle and I'm going to take a stitch and then I'm going to, this is where I get, okay, come in here and then go right below, okay? You know, I might want to I might want a center line on this. Okay. Then what I'm going to do here is the tricky part. Let me see if I can get in just a little bit closer. And it's always the first couple stitches that you have to think through. I'm going to slide through here. Wait a minute. slide through here and then I'm going to come down here and then I'm going to go over here I have to tell you my book is right here I'm having to look at it I have to get about three or four of these under my belt before I feel comfortable that's not right Oh, swell. Maybe that was right. See, that's okay. Talk about embarrassing. Let me get this threaded back up. Oh, 
not quite sure why I said I would do this for you, this one, uh, other than when you got it figured out, it is an extraordinary stitch. Okay. Oh, I think that's right. My tight on the back, yeah. Back here. It goes here. Okay, yes, I'm doing it. See the little braiding thing that's going down the middle? Uh, I would want these evenly spaced just like they're not. <clears throat> and if you go too small, you're not going to see the work, which is what I did on my sampler. Take a look at the back in a minute. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. It, it's counterintuitive. That's the part that's weird. It's super counterintuitive. See, that's too close to there. Maybe you'd even want to go down the side with your purple pin and go dot, 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 so that you get it more um, regulated. In fact, do that. And if you have a shape like a leaf, you can have, let's say this is stitched in your leaf. You could do this here and then this here, and then this here, and then that will help fill in the shape of it. So let's take a look and see what the back looks like, okay? Yeah, simple, lovely. Yeah, I just, I love this. And imagine if the thread were variegated. Ay, 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 ay. So, let me see where we're at. Australia, yay! I just, I just, I just, love what we have going on here. I just adore what we have going on here. And I'm thanking you for all the good uh, wishes that you're sending me. That means more to me than any card in the mail, just because I feel it. I feel uplifted by you. And I'm not, I'm not blowing smoke. I, I would not do that to you. So let's, uh, the little girl, oh, it's the little girl on top of the monument. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Shoot, 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 shoot. Um. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Now is that in is that in the big quilt? Yes, she's right there in the middle. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm guessing because it was like a dull moment where you think I can do this and then got get this neat stitch. Yeah. Um, you know, the hand embroidery right now is Irene and I don't, I am just really drawn to it and I don't know whether, I, I don't know why, but um, I just, I, I just love it. Okay. What is thread magic? Uh, no, I did not. This is a thread. It's, I think it's like a silicone-based thing, and I like to just run my thread to it. It kind of, it's it's different than wax, but it's a, I could compare it to beeswax. I've used beeswax. I've been gifted beeswax. I like this better. And this little guy, um, I think it's like ten bucks or something, and it pretty much lasts forever. It helps your thread slide through more. And then, like some of these threads that we have with the kit that are made in Africa are a little bit fragile and it helps pull the, the, um, the, you know, the fibers in and you want to make sure the fibers are going in the right direction. And how you know that, like these ones from South Africa that we have been using on these panels is, and I don't know if we're out or not, I think we might be, you can literally close your eyes and feel the wrap. You can actually feel it. Okay. Um, will you be getting more Cosmo hoops back in the store? Cheryl, I hope so. I know when we ran out, 
uh, Suzanne went everywhere to look for them. And as soon as we find them, it's like everybody in the world was out of them. And what's a Cosmo hoop? A Cosmo hoop, and you're going to want a smaller one for this, all right? Rather than have a hoop that's got like, you know, screws in it, it just has this crazy little spring. Kristen actually discovered this at a quilt show, and I borrowed it, and I went out of my mind because you're not working around any sort of pincher thing. Um, yeah, you're working a little bit about this, but it's so simple. You just put everything in place and snap it goes in. Okay, there's... Um... Yes, cherries were a snail wrapped in another color. Okay, so you did both. Awesome. Thank you, Suzanne. Okay, the embroidery book. Um, yes, I'm sorry. And again, we'll be getting this in. We'll be getting this back in real soon. And see, there's a wrapped one. On, or there's, there's a chain stitch here that's been wrapped. You know, and then here's a double down here that's been wrapped. And then here's some that haven't been wrapped at all. And that's just that little dum-dum stitch. And if you find that you kind of get into, that's when you mark it with the pen. All right. Okay, Terry says, making garments from patterns with a quilt, you can use any pattern maker and you don't have to line them. Just finish the seam, like with a finished seam. Um, link went to a page not found. Um, have I ever embroidered from a stamp, from a favorite rubber stamp? No, I haven't. John just fixed the link. Okay. Oh, the other thing, I'm just going through all these questions here. What's coming up? Susan Skeel, what's coming up is I'm going booby bye-bye on Monday. Um, I, I don't know when we'll be back. I don't know whether I want to do more. St I don't know anything, okay? And many of you, I'm going to be back. I mean, that is for sure. And I don't know whether we can jump into the ties at that point. I do not know. Now, John is going to do a couple lives. And one question came in was the start of TQS. Yeah, he can do that. Another, I'd like to do one of some of his favorite quilts and why. I love that when Justin did it. But somebody also asked, if I were to make a guy quilt, what can you, what can you advise me with? And um, he kind of looked at me and goes, yeah, you know, that's, I will advise you this. If you're going to make a quilt for someone, female, male, baby, whatever, you've got to decide whether it's going to be on the wall or if it's going to be used. And that will get you in the right direction. If it's going to be used, you don't want to have too much quilting on it. You want a snugability. If it's going to be used, you might want to put Shannon fabric on the back, all right? Because it's so soft and wonderful and it just snuggles you up. And speaking of Shannon, you guys are getting busy with these infinity scarves and the booby pillows. And um, Shannon has donated 150 booby patterns of which all of the proceeds all are going to Dr. Susan Love for cancer research. So take advantage of that and know every single dime there. And then everything else is, you know, a portion is going to be going. But more than that, it's the good deed factor that, uh, that we are putting out there to go help those around you. So my gift is keep lifting me up in your hearts and minds because I feel it. And think about how you can do something wonderful for someone you love or maybe somebody you don't even know. That is beyond precious. This is what I know about this whole experience is that most of the people that, great, the cat's on the screen. Most of the people that have gone through this journey, they come out a much better person. And I will tell you right now, I have become a better person. And while I don't want to go through this, I don't, who wants to do, who wants to do this, right? Um, I, the things I have discovered are amazing. And the things that are important to me are amazing. So there we go. Okay, always in prayers. All right, so um, 
thanks guys uh, we will keep you posted i appreciate my prognosis is couldn't be better yay and um i so appreciate you who would have thought three years ago when this all started right so boom there we go i will um See you when I see ya, and I so appreciate your kindness in coming back with an irregular schedules. Um, when sewing the infinity, opening on the infinity scarf, is it through all layers? Oh, 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 oh. Let me go back, let me go back, because I've made this. Um, since I will buy Lux Cuddle from my local quilt store, are you selling the made with love and care instructions? Um, contact customer service. I, I can't answer. And then Suzanne, I'm sure, could take care of you. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I would hope so. I would hope so, but I don't know. Um, also, go to Shannon's YouTube and look up Teresa Coates Infinity Sweater Scarf. We did a thing with her also on here. You can go there and research that, but it is super easy. There's just one tricky part. And yes, I sewed through to connect it all three layers and with a zigzag and promptly broke my needle because I forgot to put in a wide throw plate. <laughs> of course I did. Oh, you guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much.